Alexis McAllister celebrates with Luis Diaz when UFA devised the Champions League's updated format. It did so with the aim of adding more glamorous matches to the competition's early stages. Games don't come much more glamorous than Liverpool versus Real Madrid, and Wednesday's standout matchup did not disappoint. Elsewhere, there was a dramatic comeback inspired by an American duo and controversy involving one of the competition's dark horses. Here are the main takeaways from Wednesday's games. Arnslot continues to impress as Liverpool beats Real Madrid for first time since 2009 when Arnslot took over as Liverpool boss this summer following the departure of club legend Jurgen Klopp. Few would have believed he would win anything like 17 of his first 19 games in charge. Wednesday's 2-0 victory over Real Madrid is the standout moment of the Dutchman's tenure so far, a game in which the Reds utterly dominated the reigning European champion. Liverpool started fast, very nearly going in front in the fourth minute, when Darwin Nunes' shot was saved by Thabo Courtois, but rebounded off young defender Raul Asensio, who had to clear the ball off the line. Two more chances for Nunes came and went in the first half. Other side of a brilliant tackle by Conor Bradley on Kylie and Mbappe, as the Frenchman ran menacingly towards goal. Manchester, England, November 26. Pep Guardiola, manager of Manchester City, reacts during the UEFA Champions League 2024 by 25 league phase in D5 match between Manchester City and Feyenoord at City of Manchester Stadium on November 26, 2024 in Manchester, England. Photo by Carl Riccini slash Getty Images. Related article, Pep Guardiola says Manchester City fans are right to express what they feel. After booing team following draw with Feyenoord, the tackle ignited the Anfield atmosphere, and Liverpool carried the momentum all the way through to its first goal, which came in the 52nd minute, when Alexis McAllister played a 1-2 with Bradley before shooting low past Courtois from inside the area. Real Madrid had the perfect opportunity to get back into the game just after the hour mark, when Andy Robertson fouled Lucas Vasquez in the area. But Mbappe, who had a difficult evening, saw his penalty saved by Kilinin Kelleher. Just under 10 minutes later, it was Liverpool's turn to pass up a golden chance, Mohamed Salah missing his own penalty after he was brought down by Ferland Mendy. But the Reds would not be denied as substitute Cody Gakpo headed in a Robertson cross in the 76th minute to seal the win. It's always good to win a game and especially a big game because you know you face so many quality players," said Slot in his post-match press conference. If we arrive in the last 16 or quarterfinals, or wherever we can arrive to, and face them again, and then we're able to beat them, that would be maybe a bigger statement than this. But we are definitely happy with the win. Liverpool's Cody Gakpo scores his team's second goal to seal the victory. Liverpool's Cody Gakpo scores his team's second goal to seal the victory. Justin Setterfield slash Getty Images. The Dutchman has a long way to go before he is regarded as highly as Klopp. But, in beating Los Blancos, he has managed to achieve something his predecessor could not in six attempts while with Liverpool. The Reds' last victory against Real Madrid came back in 2009. Wednesday's result means Liverpool is now top of both the Champions League and the Premier League. Real Madrid, on the other hand, sits in 24th in the European competition just two points above Paris Saint-Germain in 25th. Of the 36 teams, those that finish 25th or lower after three more games each will be eliminated from the competition. Carlo Ancelotti's team will welcome fellow Madrid side Getafe to the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu on Sunday, while Liverpool faces Manchester City in a huge clash at the top of the Premier League. USN and duo inspires incredible comeback elsewhere in the Champions League. Two stars of the U.S. men's national team helped PSV to a dramatic 3-2 comeback win over Shakhtar Donetsk. After first-half goals from Shakhtar's Danilo Saikin and Oleksandr Zubkov, the Ukrainian side was reduced to 10 men when Pedro Henrique was sent off for a dangerous challenge on Johan Bakayoko in the 69th minute. 